Hello, my name is Leslie Atherton and this is a short story called All Night the Rain Fell on Adlington. That's where I live. The clouds arrived from the west, clouds like dark cathedrals, clouds like machines and clouds like black blossoms flowering in the arid starlit sky. They settled over the English countryside in towns sunk in their muddled sleeping. They settled over the low, populous hills where scatterings of lights throbbed in the darkness. At midnight, they reached the city, valiantly glittering in its shallow provincial basin. Unseen, they grew like a second city overhead, thickening, expanding and throwing up their savage monuments, their towers, their monstrous and unpeopled palaces of cloud. Adlington's residence was sleeping, but here and there a house might show an orange rectangle of light. Cars crept along the deserted roads. A cat leapt from a wall, pouring itself down into the shadows. Silently, the clouds filled the sky. The wind picked up. It faintly stirred the branches of the trees, and in the dark, empty park, the swings moved back and forth a little. A handful of dried leaves shuffled on a pavement. Miles away in the city there were still people on the streets, but in Adlington most were in their beds, already surrendered to tomorrow. All afternoon the rain had fallen, leaving only droplets on the pavement at first, droplets that sunk gently into the slabs, then flowed as they massed and edged towards the porous cracks. Droplets expanded into tiny pools, rain like pixie lakes glistening on the dark and smoggy inner city streets. They fell from clouds, shunting buildings of even gentle height, their spikes and aerials and crenulations piercing and causing rain to drop to the tarmac below. Adlington wasn't yet asleep, but rested and part slumbered, giving the young and the old a head start to the land of Nod. The rain fell on their windows, easing the sleepers with its pitter-patter lullaby. In surrounding towns, life went on. People would eat, drink and party, and fortunate souls attended the cinema to view one of the latest releases. In the foyer, the overhead lights glared as people purchased tickets, then looked back towards the wide expanse of glass doors while the cashier counted their change or returned their bank card. Outside, watery pavements glowed and twinkled, glazed by street lamps and the shimmer of the near full moon. People arrived, keen to watch the film, and scurried for their seats within this cavernous, dark and velvet room. Despite there being plenty of space, a man placed himself just a couple of seats away from a single young woman. Already the heat radiated from his body. She felt it and sensed his thoughts and needs. Neither was able to concentrate on the film, both being aware of each other's presence and of the steam rising from their damp bodies. The water vapour wasn't only the redistribution of the incessant jewels of water that fell from the sky. It was also the steam of sexual heat. Emboldened by their shared desire, the man and woman moved closer and allowed their thighs to touch gently. On screen, the rain fell, and lovers kissed on a beach. The rain fell outside the cinema too, but in the hearts of those two people, there was only sunshine and light. Outside, the clouds still filled the sky and the rain still fell. But in the cinema... A pocketful of carelessly discarded sweet wrappers crunched beneath the woman's feet as she surrendered to the delight of moving pictures and of moving fingers.